We're going to be doing a review on the 2011 Mercedes Benz C300 Sport model. You know, let's take a quick look around. We have the dual exhaust. No factory tent, factory everything, sunroof. So you have the LED headlamps at the bottom for the daytime visibility. Let's take a look inside. You know, it's pretty, my bad, it's pretty dirty right now. I mean, this is the back seat, you know, it's pretty much, just, you know, nothing, you know, nothing crazy. It's normal, you know, you can pull this down. You know, you got, got a little compartment, press this button, cup holders, cup holders come out. They close this back. You know. You know, you have the... You know, the the seats the seats do not come up 60 40 split you know this is pretty low here you know automatic all four windows you know speaker up here has an LED strip for the night time you know it comes on the lights come on you know it sounds very solid when you close the door and that's the thing about these German vehicles now they're very solid. Take the seat here, you know, how the wood trim, you know, everything's pretty basic, you know, just. So, you know, this particular model has over 82,000 miles. You know, we've had it for a while now. So, you know, as you can see, the, you know, basically the instrument cluster, you know, you have obviously gas temperature you know you have your speedometer you know you have your tachometer so you know you have the three spoke steering wheel or, you know you have just the regular entertainment system you know nothing crazy this isn't the navigation model well you know you just have the like I said, you know, we this is pretty much this is a daily driver. So you know, it's a pretty decent size glove compartment. So you know, everything everything is pretty much you know just basic. See, so you have you have your usual park version neutral drive, little eco and sport mode. You see it pops up right there, sport mode, eco mode. Just with the press of this button right here. So you know you have the the wheel, the wheel that you know controls the system up here. So you see we can turn the system on and just press this button. You know it comes on. You know the warning, you know, that kind of stuff. What is it? This is the radio. You see you can just with the flick of the Let you choose everything. It has a has a back button and a clear button. Anyways, it has a has a pretty decent sound system. This isn't even the. But yeah, so you know you can pull this down, you know, back up, whatever. So you know. You have the, down here you have your climate control. Alright, that's, well, let's see how she sounds. Don't sound too bad. Everything is stock on this car. You know, you can go through your settings, your trip, audio, telephone, you know, you, you can connect for a Bluetooth talking. 
there's no Bluetooth audio. There is an aux input. See, this is the traction control. Let's see, you can you can see the miles. You know, your miles per gallon. You know, just everything like that. Your fuel consumption. But th thank you for watching the video. You know, this is a new channel. You know, just subscribe for more. You know, we're gonna keep adding on vehicles and how to fix things. Thank you.